The SDP, Liberal Alliance, was a centrist electoral alliance in the United Kingdom, formed by the Social Democratic Party, which from now on I will be referring to as the SDP, and the Liberal Party. The alliance existed from 1981 to 1988. To explain how the SDP, Liberal Alliance, came to be the third force in UK politics for a time, first we need to take a brief look at the fortunes of the UK Liberal Party after World War I, and the developments in the Labour Party that led to the formation of the SDP. The Liberal Party was one of the oldest political parties in existence, dating back to 1859. There were, at the time, one of the two parties that controlled, contested control of the UK Parliament from the 1850s to 1914. Perhaps the Liberal Party's greatest victory was in 1906, but that was also the start of the last time they would lead a majority government. After this, and partially due to a consequence of World War I, and partially due to internal divisions put after the war, they were superseded by the Labour Party, who were a more left-wing force, who, from 1922 onwards, would be either in government or Her Majesty's official opposition, thus displacing the Liberals as the main rivals to the Conservative Party, the right-wing force in British politics. That's how the party went down from 397 MPs out of 670 in 1906 to just 11 MPs in 1979, when Margaret Thatcher, the Conservative, took power from James Callaghan, Labour. The Liberal Party was a very distant third and didn't appear to have the momentum to make significant gains from either the Tories or Labour. To turn to the formation of the SDP, after its defeat in the 1979 general election, the Labour Party underwent a period of internal rivalry between the left, represented by Tony Benn, and the right, represented by Dennis Healy. The election of Michael Foote as leader in 1980 and the leftist policies he espoused, such as unilateral nuclear disarmament, leaving the European Economic Community, and leaving NATO, led in 1981 to four former cabinet ministers from the right wing of the Labour Party, Shirley Williams, William Rogers, Roy Jenkins and David Owen, often referred to as the Gang of Four, to found the Social Democratic Party, the SDP. In June 1981, the SDP Liberal Alliance was formed and for a little while was actually ahead in national polls, ahead of both the Conservative Party and the Labour Party. However, Margaret Thatcher's victory in the 1982 Falklands War increased her popularity, and in 1983 general election, the Alliance received 25.4% of the vote. This was an 11.6% rise on the 13.8% of the vote the Liberal Party had seen in 1979, but still second behind Labour in the tw with 27.6% of the vote. Even worse, they had only secured 23 MPs, well behind Labour's 209 and the Conservative Party's 396. The Liberal Party had long campaigned for electoral reform, and after the 1983 election, this was also part of the Alliance's policy. Unfortunately, you actually have to win to put this into practice, so the first-past-the-post system continues in the United Kingdom to this day. For more information on its downsides, see CGP Grey's videos. By 1987, relations between the SDP and Liberal Party had grown more tense as some in both parties were seeking to end the alliance. Despite this, David Steele, the leader of the Liberal Party, proposed a merger between the two parties following the 1987 general election. The majority of members of both parties agreed, and a merger was effected in early 1988. The new party was at first named the Social and Liberal Democrats, shortened in 1989 to the Liberal Democrats, although that is a topic for another video. Small factions of both parties continued under the SDP and Liberal Party name, but as they were made up of the people who were most opposed to working with each other, the alliance was now dead. The SDP was re-established by David Owen, one of the original founders, although he went on to dissolve this in 1990. The Liberal Party was re-established under the leadership of Michael Medcroft and continues to operate to this day, most recently losing seats in the 2017 local election in the United Kingdom. Medcroft himself and many others, however, have since rejoined the Liberal Democrats.